नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो बी सी विड्रॉल लाइन ऑफ द मानसून टूडे देर इज नो विड्रॉल फर्दर हाउ एवर द कंडीशन आर फेवरेबल फॉर फर्दर विड्रॉल ऑफ साउथ वेस्ट मानसून फ्राम रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सम पार्ट्स ऑफ कर्नाटका इंटायर तेलंगाना सम मोर पार्ट्स ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ सम मोर पार्ट्स ऑफ झारखंड बिहार and also some parts of odisha and gangetic west bengal during next 2 3 days so these are the conditions for uh, further withdrawal of the south uh, southwest monsoon during next 2 3 days and uh, we see the yesterday's realized weather this portion that is uh, northeast india and also this parts of south peninsular india including kerala south interior karnataka etc uh, reported a light to moderate rainfall and western ghats of the tamil nadu reported uh, isolated heavy rainfall uh, yesterday of the order of 11 cm now we are mentioning here two highlights first highlight is that isolated heavy rainfall activity likely over south inter karnataka kerala and tamil nadu during next two days and a reduction thereafter and second point is that no significant weather is expected during next four five day, days except some isolated to scattered activity over parts of northeast india and remaining parts of south peninsular india and also over western himal region so these are the two highlights now these are the synoptic systems prevailing today so this is the western disturbance today seen over uh, Jammu and Arjun in North Pakistan at 3.1 km above mean sea level as a cyclone circulation with a, with a trough aloft uh, with its axis at 5.8 km above mean sea level roughly 72 degree east and uh, 32 degree north so this is the western disturbance and under the influence of this western disturbance some isolated activity is expected over uh, western himal region today including Jammu Kashmir uh, especially Ladakh region Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and uh, one cyclone circulation also seen over sub himalayan west bengal in lower tropospheric levels and it traps runs from north east uttar pradesh to across uh, this cyclone circulation over uh, sub himalayan west bengal and uh, goes to north east india and uh, some small small cyclone circulation uh, also seen over one over telangana and jammu coastal and pradesh another over rail sima and another over lakshadweep area in lower tropospheric level so these are the synoptic systems and if we see cloudiness conditions so you will see that isolated uh, cloudiness conditions are observed over uh, extreme north of jammu kashmir and ladakh region and also some activity is expected over because of this cloudiness over uh, assam and meghalaya region and some isolated patches over lakshadweep and darjeeling areas of southeast uh, or even say so these are the synoptic systems now under the influence of uh, these synoptic systems as already mentioned uh, that uh, there is no significant weather is expected over uh, most parts of the country during next 4 5 days except uh, heavy rainfall activity over uh, south central karnataka kerala and tamil nadu during next two days and some isolated activity over western himal region today and over parts of northeast and adjoining east india and otherwise you will see that there is no heavy rainfall warning is issued after two days that is green map is showing here so this is all about today's uh, weather briefing and uh, we will update uh, uh, information tomorrow with another episode of uh, this daily weather briefing till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat